shots on stage for the birthday people. And so I'm going to go hand the mic off right now. Is that me right now? Is that me right now? Here we go. Sorry about that. I missed it. There you go, bud. Hello. What's going on, everybody? Hello. Hey, Ben. Hi. I'm starting the broadcast outside. You having a good night tonight? Woo! Keep it going one more time for Barry Whitewater, your host, everybody. Yes, keep it going one more time for your hilarious feature act, Dave Jessup, everybody. Dave is behind the camera. We'll be monitoring the comments live worldwide as we go. Uh, so that's exciting, and we're going to be having a good time. We're going to be having a good time. Hello, how are you two doing? Y'all are touching each other in a fun way. I don't hate that. How come you two dudes aren't touching each other? Don't you want to even it out? Come on, guys. Gender equality. Let's actually take back the request. You guys are fine. It's been an interesting week. Been a great time here at Hyenas. Thank you all for having me. It's been cool. It's been cool. You look like a nice dude right in front. You got an equal sign on your shirt. What does that equal sign represent? You didn't even know it was an equal sign. I just thought it was two stripes. <laughs> Have you ever seen a math problem ever? You always got confused when it got to the end of the equation. Four plus two, you got that part. Equals, shit, I don't know what that is. Just the equal sign itself is very confusing to me. That's amazing, dude. That's cool. I like that. You seem like a sharp dresser, though. You don't even know what you're wearing. But it's sharp nonetheless. I appreciate that about you. What is your name? Stuart. Your name is Stuart. Didn't expect that either. <laughs> you seem like kind of a tough guy. You don't imagine Stuart coming out of that mouth. Stuarts usually know what equal signs look like. <laughs> what do you do for a living, Stu? And can I call you Stu? I can, thank you. Can you do construction? That's cool. You ever constructed a, a like like a plank of some kind and then another one on top of it? <laughs> and if you did, it never reminded you of math class, did it? <laughs> but you did look at that and think, I would love to wear that on my chest. That would be nice. What kind of construction do you do, Stu? Right now demoing fresh market. You're demoing fresh market. Okay, I don't know what that means. You said it like I'm in the industry with you. I don't know how. Right now we're demoing fresh market. Oh, so it's, it's supposed to the older market. I'm going real fresh with it. You got me back quick for my equal sign jokes, didn't you? We need to know what we know, I guess. All right. What does fresh market mean? You don't even know what it means. Now I feel better about myself. A man I felt inferior to his knowledge of his own career, and he doesn't even fucking know. You're demoing a fresh market, you're demolishing a fresh market. And you don't know what it means. You just go in there with hammers, I'm like, fuck this place. They tell me to demo it, I fucking demo it. So you're demoing a place called Fresh Market. And you don't know what you don't know what happens there. What if there are people doing doing fresh market activities while you're there? You still bulldoze right in and fuck them? It's impressive, but you just, you got a never can stop attitude. I enjoy that about you. Fantastic, dude. What do you do for fun? Just tear down shit in playgrounds or whatever? Go, go around, ah, I don't like shit. Do you have any hobbies that you do? You drink is your main hobby. Touche, buddy. What's your favorite drink to drink? Vodka cranberry, I like that. You're going a little sweet with your drink, and I like that. There's nothing wrong with that. I talked about this in my Showtime special. Guys are criticized for drinking girly drinks. That's stupid. It makes no sense. There's no reason we should not drink girly drinks because it's delicious. <laughs> like a real man's not supposed to have flavors that he likes in his mouth? 
This makes no fucking sense. A real man doesn't give a shit what you say. He's gonna drink a strawberry. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna do the whole joke because it's retired and it's in my Showtime special. You have to watch it. North called Neurotic Gangster. Look it up. Good luck. We're doing new shit tonight. That's right. What's your, uh, what's your gay buddy's name? <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. There's nothing wrong with being gay. These two guys are clearly not gay, and that's why I said it, because you're two masculine Texas dudes. That just, you're not? Georgia. You're from Georgia. Oh, then everything's up in the air. We don't know a thing about you two peaches, do we? is a pretty soft mascot or a fruit for a steak. We're the peaches! Peaches and cream. Which one of you is peaches and which one's cream? Depends on the night or what? <laughs> oh man. What is your name, buddy? Jeremy, what do you do? Same thing. Construction or each other? I just don't know what we're talking about anymore. I've lost track of it myself. So you guys met you guys met at work? You what? You met a long time ago. I'm gonna ask you directly, can you not quit each other? You met a long time ago and got the same exact job. Just so you could hang out all the time. That's really cute. I like that. Is this whole table friends, all four of you? Okay. And are, are you two as good of friends as these two? Because you two look kind of similar. He's saying, no, we're not. No, we are not. No. How do you two know these two? You work together. I bet you guys can work it out. You can work it out. It's exciting. So you're all construction guys all here in the fort? In the front, just demoing shit? And... Killing people's markets or whatever it is. What's the best way to, to, to tear something down, to demo a place? What's the best way? What's your favorite method? Was it? Forklift through the wall. That's the best way. Why? Because you get it's like a dream to be in a vehicle and then just destroy the fucking building. That's the best. You could do it with your head, but that would hurt so much. Just fucking go shoulder straight into the building. You don't want to do that. How about a hammer? Those big fucking crazy fucking mallet hammers. That's better after you've already forklift in there. Why are you using a forklift and a bulldozer? Because forklifts are meant for lifting shit, not for fucking bulldozing shit. Why don't you use a bulldozer? You're using a fucking forklift. I feel like you could lift the building really good. The building would be like, what the fuck are you doing in this building? And you bring it back down, you're like, we're just fucking with you. Bring in the bulldozer. Bulldoze the shit out of this place. Forklift, doesn't it just have those like two metal fucking things? So what does it do, just poke two tiny holes in the building? It's like the three stooges of demolition devices. What, what, what's that gonna do to the building? It's the slowest way you could possibly demo a building, just tear little holes in the fucking thing. We're gonna go two flat, thin eye slits at a time. Until eventually no one wants to work there and it just falls apart. It's very confusing. I really am very curious why the fuck you're using a forklift. I would like to know. Is there a reason why you're using a forklift? You guys, are you guys saving up for the bulldozer? Or? What is the issue? Did you guys intend first on being a moving company or something? Everybody just wanted shit torn down. They didn't want to move anywhere. You're like, all right, we'll do it. <laughs> How about hobbies for you two? Y'all do, do anything fun? Any hobbies, any passions in life aside from drinking? He lifted his drink up. He's like, say, man. Anything else? Fishing. That's cool. You like to fish. You also drink while you do that, I bet. You do, right? So basically everything is involved in drinking. Do you drink while you do construction, while you do demo? You don't? Why? You're just tearing shit down. If you're building shit up, I think not drinking is a solid move. You don't want to 
forget a couple of fucking divots or screws in that building, all of a sudden the shit collapses. Well, we should not have drank that day. <laughs> but you're just tearing shit down. I think drinking is very appropriate. In fact, maybe, maybe you are drinking and you don't even know it because there's no other reason for the forklifts. I don't think there's any other explanation for that. How about you two here in the front? What is your name? Rachel. Rachel. What do you do for a living? Massage therapist. Mm. That's why you were rubbing your friend's leg at the beginning of the show. <laughs> she had a Charlie horse, you were just being nice. That's not why. Oh, then why? Okay. <laughs> it's about to be the best Facebook Live broadcast in history. <laughs> Uh, the views will be astronomical. <laughs> Do the rest of you mind leaving the room for about 10 minutes? <laughs> what kind of massage do you do? Uh, it's all kind of generalized. All kind of generalized? <laughs> that means you just don't know any of the special kinds. <laughs> do you do shiatsu or deep tissue? Mm, I just kind of rub a little bit. <laughs> I was not trained in the actual methods. It's all generalized, you don't do the different kinds. Oh, yeah, you do the different kinds. Acupuncture and fucking chop, chop suey method. And... <laughs> what? <laughs> you just confuse them. <laughs> you do what you do. That's cool. And uh, how do I ask this politely? How happy do your massages end? <laughs> your friend gave you one of these. <laughs> Do you do hotel calls? Do you do Dallas hotel calls? I have to come to you then, you're saying. I have to come to you. I'll come anywhere. I don't care. <laughs> Any questions so far? And what do you do, friend of the world's greatest massage therapist? I'm a marketer. You're a marketer? She does not need any help. She's killing the marketing on her own. What kind of stuff do you market? Chiropractic care. People with fucked up backs, you market to them. What do you say? You come up with posters that say, you're, you're back jacked? Come on by. What's your... Use that, you're back jacked? You can use it. I would like you to use that, it's a gift. It's a gift to you. Oh, you're leaving here with more than that tonight. You're leaving here with that at least. And memories to last a lifetime. Let's check in if we can with the uh, Facebook comments. What are they saying there, Lindsay? Uh, they say they really like your new short haircut. Oh, and that's sweet. they are, Kimberly Johnson is loving your crowd work. She says it's amazing, hilarious. All right, I don't need compliments. I don't need compliments. Uh, Thank she, you. She also. I'm not looking for an ego uh, stroke right now. I already got that taken care of after the show with the massage therapist. <laughs> she also enjoyed peaches and cream. Okay, good. Everybody enjoys peaches and yeah. cream. <laughs> that's why they wrote a song about it. <laughs> Very exciting. Well, thank you all for coming. It's exciting to have you. How about you, sir, with the hat? You're dressed kind of conservatively. You got a button-up shirt, but then you got a hat on top that says, America is already great. Oh, I like that. All right. I don't disagree. America's a great country. And so is that, is that a, it's a Hillary hat or something? <laughs> it's anti-Trump. You don't give a shit who it is. Smurfs could weigh in or anybody but Trump is in your opinion. Fair enough, fair enough. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work for a nonprofit. You work for a nonprofit, which is, by the way, a horrible business model. <laughs> I want to start a business. Uh, how do we do it? We're, we're trying to help people. Awesome. Can we make money too? No, I'm out. Fuck it. <laughs> Why can't they ever do a business that helps people and you can make some money for yourself? It's ridiculous to me. They can't combine that. What does a nonprofit, nonprofit do? You organize education programs for low-income families and a what? In affordable, in affordable housing communities. In the project. Thank you so much. <laughs> Black guy in the back just translated that for me. Projects. That's the difference between how white people say some shit and black people say some shit. Black people just cut to the chase with some of that stuff. 
We made it sound like he was doing a book report. I don't know what was happening there. We do some low-income housing book projects, educational resource development projects. Yep. <laughs> Basically what it is. So you give education to kids in the projects? Yes, that's, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's cool. And what kind of education do you give them? Uh, well, it just depends. Have they learned the equal sign yet? <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> what kind of program do you do? How does it work? Uh, well, you know, like... Some, some have like after school programs, but then you have to like GED programs, and ESL programs, and just whatever the... Can you stop throwing letters at me possibly? <laughs> we do GED programs, ESL programs, SAT classes, we do some, some PTA meetings, some PSAs, we do a lot of PE classes as well. Fuck, this guy's, the whole alphabet's empty now. <laughs> You do, you do ESL, which people don't speak English. You teach them English as a second language. And what was the other letter? You said GED. Yeah, people that have not graduated high school and are sick of it. You give, them one, you give them one test and they're out. I wish somebody told me GED was an option when I was in high school. Four years of this shit, or... You take one very easy test and you're done. Nobody would be in high school still if they knew that was an option. They keep the GED pretty fucking hidden from students here. That's cool. Do yourself, are you well educated yourself? That's subjective. That is subjective. The way you answer that with the, the, the subjective. I'm guessing you're not that well educated. Did you go to college? Same Houston State. Same Houston State? It's called Same Houston State? Sam Houston State, yeah. That's better than Same Houston State. When you put a mild adjective in the middle of your, the beginning of your school name, it's not great. Here at OK Bobby College, we give you classes. We don't even believe in them much. They're all right. Sam Houston State, it's a state college. It could be a great college. You don't know that. It's a good state school. But you went there, you didn't love it or what? Oh, it's great. You loved it. What'd you study there? Political science. And you didn't do anything with that. <laughs> And then he's just chugging his beer. Look at that. All we need to do is get you some hard drugs and a mistress, and you could be doing some political science. You know what I mean? Doesn't take much to get into politics these days. Does not take much. Who are you here with tonight? This young lady right here. Is this your girlfriend? No. This your friend? Friend and roommate. But you guys are not fucking. <laughs> Male, female, friend, and roommate. No sex happening whatsoever. I find that hard to believe. You don't even what? You don't even share a bathroom. Well, that's where the fucking would take place, I guess. You look so fresh and clean out of that shower. The way you move your wrist up and down when you brush those teeth. I want it. That's cute. How did you guys become roommates? <laughs> kind of a long story. Kind of a long story. Well, we've got time. We were roommates in college. Roommates in college. And then <laughs> took some years off. Yeah. And you missed each other. Yeah. You should see her face. She was like... <laughs> She always looks like that. That's a different kind of RBF. That's resting board face, I guess. What are people saying in the comments there, Dave? Uh, Trey Hatfield says GED, good enough diploma. Agreed. Agreed with that. And they love your new haircut. Enough with the hair cut. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about it. I like, kind of like it. I had normal hair the other day, and then I was I was I was in, um, on a shoot for College Humor, where I was playing Henry Kissinger of all people, and we did day one of the shoot, and I had normal long hair. And at the end of the shoot, the makeup artist says to me, should we, I think "We should trim a little bit." So I'm like, "Sure." And as she's trimming, she's like, "You mind if I just take the the buzzers out and really go to town and make it real short?" And I'm like, "You do you, girl. You do it." I trust you. And she's almost finished with this haircut. And at the very end, the producer comes in and he goes, uh, Ben, you realize you're playing the same role tomorrow, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. That's going to be a continuity problem. But we did it. 
and I have this weird fade now, and then at the sides I have like bangs on the side of my head. I don't know if I, if I ever wanted bangs, let alone side bangs. Didn't even know side bangs was a thing, so I feel uncomfortable, but I'm glad that some people like it, please. Uh, uh, Jack Estes says, how many times does the guy spy on the roommate in the shower? Well, they don't share bathrooms, so it would be very creepy if he did that. <laughs> Oh, this is not my bathroom again? I'm so sorry. I'll put the, I'll put the binoculars away. And I, uh, in fact, it's really weird to use binoculars to spy on somebody in a bathroom. All you're going to see is like one hair follicle. It's not the hottest angle. It's exciting. What do you do for a living roommate? I work for an airline. You work for an airline? Which one? Uh, Virgin America. Virgin America. It's a pretty solid airline. It's like flying on a pink berry. <laughs> yeah, they got all kinds of soothing lights and multicolor headphones. And it's very soothing to be on that airline. It would be the loveliest airline to crash in. I think it'd be great. <laughs> As you're crashing, you're like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> That's really cool. What do you do for the airline? I work at the airport. You work at the airport doing what? Uh, operations. operations of. <laughs> you just gave me one piece of information at a time. So. What sort of operation? I do like the like paperwork and communication. Why are they still using paper? We have computers now. They do the flight paperwork. That's why it takes an hour to take off once you're in the plane. They're like, we're still finishing up paperwork. Who's <laughs> doing fucking paperwork still? You are. That's why you're always bored. Exactly right. Explains that face that you do sometimes. I think you're smiling now. You seem great. You enjoy that job? That's cool. You have to say that because we're broadcasting, but it's cool. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. What do you do for fun? You have any hobbies? Drink heavily, go to work coked up, or what? You enjoy traveling? That's a good time to talk to her. I think it's a smart time. No, no, it's a good time to take your drink order mid-show conversation. Broadcast to the world. That's the time to really chime in there. Please remember to tip your wait staff. <laughs> I mean, I mean that seriously. They don't, they're, not, they're not perfect, but they're great. They're working hard. They're working hard, hard for you. It's exciting. You said you enjoy traveling. You get free tickets? Oh, that's fucking badass. Do you get to bring one? Does the roomie get to come? He's my travel companion. You guys are fucking, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. There's no way they're not fucking. Travel companions, roommates since college. How about you, sir? What is your name? You right there. So why ain't turning around? You know I'm talking to you. You know I'm talking to you. What is your... Also, there's a quick note to the guys in the back of the club. Raymond or somebody... For some reason, the lights and the ceiling fans are off. They should be on, if possible, so we can see the crowd a little bit better. Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. What do you do, sir? You work for NASCO? I love NASCO, and what is that? <laughs> what the hell is NASCO? It's a shipbuilding company in San Diego? So what brings you to Dallas? You're visiting family, that's cool. You're from Dallas originally? You're not from Dallas. Your family is, originally. Not really. You guys just meet up in Dallas sometimes. <laughs> It's a nice place to meet, kind of in the middle. I like that. You build ships? You yourself build fucking ships. Is a forklift involved at all? It is. For lifting things on materials that you need, productive materials, not for destroying shit. It's ridiculous. So what is the what is the biggest key to building a ship? Like really strong glue? <laughs> really strong welds. So you're welding shit, and you just gotta make it so tight so that it becomes airtight. And if you don't, if you just don't screw it on tight enough, you got a sinky fucking ship. You got a sinking ass ship. You ever done it? You ever just not tighten it good enough? Or you? <laughs> you're proud of it, and they break the champagne on there, and they go, and you're like, oh, that's not looking good. <laughs> sinking fast. <laughs> Bring the forklift back. That's cool. What do you do for fun? 
to the hobbies? Horseback riding? What? Motorcycle. You ride a motorcycle? No oh, shit, what kind? Uh, Yamaha. Yamaha. That's cool, that's one of the kinds you can do. <laughs> Why do you choose that instead of a Harley? You, you prefer Japanese uh, manufacturing? Uh, power. The power. Yeah. And just the higher pitch, the ying, ying, you like that, the higher pitch sound? Harley's shake a lot. Yeah, it's rock and roll happening right there. <laughs> Harley shake more than you prefer. You like a nice, smooth ride. When something's between your legs taking you very fast, you want it to be very smooth and not a, an aggressive, vibrating shake. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. A lot of women, however, prefer Harleys. Go figure. That's what they've told me. That's what I've heard over the years. You understand what I'm talking about. They have different, different, different tastes, that's all. That's cool. How about you, dude, with the Texas, Texas Aggies hat, you got a gold ring on your finger. What is that ring for? It's my class ring. It's your class ring, from what? High school, college? College. It's your college ring. How old are you now? 24. 24, so you're about two years out of college. You should probably stop wearing that now. <laughs> can I see it real quick? I just want to see it. Somebody, can I hold it for a second? I'm not gonna swallow it, dude. Let me just see the baby. It's being broadcast to the world. I couldn't do anything with it. I can feel it, class of 2014. All right. Sorry about that. Broke the promise instantly. Let's see what this thing says. You got, you got, you got bayonets on the side. Is that bayonets? What is that for? Did you, were you in bayonet classes and shit? It's just the symbol that's on there. All right, cool. What else does it say? It says, uh, it says it's hard to read shit on here to be honest. University of Texas, A A and M. There you go. You got one, two people are fans of that school. You got a Lone Star on the side. What's that? What? You just say we're the Longhorns. We don't whoop. Did I? Who whoops? Yeah. If you're an Aggie, you whoop. If you're a Longhorn, you hook them horns. But does it have a sound with it? Hook them horns. You gotta say three words. You can't. There's no sound. So if you're an Aggie, you go whoop. And if you're a Longhorn, you go hook them horns. Seems like you could have put a little more thought into that cheer. Like, I like the hand motion, but you could have just made a sound for it. Like, like, you know, like some kind of a, some kind of a bull sound. And not a three word phrase. Hook him. So you went, you went to the University of Texas. Uh, you did not. So why don't you calm the fuck down then in that case? Holy shit. She got so angry as though she was personally offended. How dare you? We say hook them arms. Who? Not me. I don't know. Somebody does. Somebody out there does. That's cute though that you got really mad. Well, it's a nice ring. I mostly dried it off for you, so you're all good. I'm gonna give it back to you. You might not want it anymore, but congrats on that. I gotta go here for a minute. I'll be back. So you are an Aggie. And you didn't go to University of Texas. Where did you go? I didn't hear. You, you do hair. Yeah, you do. No, you do hair. You have beautiful hair. It seems that way. That's cool. What's your favorite hairstyle to do? Like a hook them horns do? Extensions and what? You're from Texas, so what does that have to do? You just like keep reverting to Texas things when you have nothing to say. What's your favorite kind of hair to do? We're from Texas. And that's not an answer to that question. It is? Texas style hair, which means what? Like big hair, you say? Big hair. You do everything big in Texas. Everything big hair, big hair don't care. That's not the original phrase. It's, it's, it's long hair don't care. It's not, it's not big hair don't care. Like, I don't care either. You can say it differently if you like. So you like doing extensions, you like making hair big. What else? Do you like dyeing people's hair? Yes, I think it's my biggest thing 
Your biggest thing is ombre. Everything you say, it takes me about three minutes to understand it. So, what does ombre mean? Like dark to light. Dark to light. Wow, that's kind of deep in a way. It's like the world went from darkness to light. Every time you do that, does it feel biblical, dude? That's cool. I like that. I don't know how it would look, but it sounds nice. Anybody here have a hombre going on? You do? Can we see it? Can we see it on the camera? Do you mind? Let's see the hombre. Dark to light. Oh, I see that. Okay. You get, you, it, yours is dark in the middle. Yeah, somebody fucked it up. Yours is dark in the middle. Somebody fucked yours up. You gotta go see her because she hooks them horns. That's the main thing. Yours goes dark to light, dark to light. Yours is like, like stripes. It's not called a hombre. That's called a fucking, like a hiccup. You kind of a hombre? She's she's just hairstyle. She says you do. A balayage? Okay, now you're just making shit up, you guys. There's no, there's no way that's a fucking term. Different colors all mixed in. That's what she has in the back. That's a balayage. You got a balayage. You got a balayage. Did you ask for a balayage? Or was this a mistake? You should have gone to her. You're down horn. So what does that mean? You're a frog. This is getting very horticulturist. Agriculture. I don't really know even what the fuck I'm talking about, but what's a frog? Texas Christian University. Horn frogs. Make a peace sign. Make it angry. And then pretend I'm still an adult. Once I'm doing weird bunny rabbit ears. And then what? And then say what? Riff Ram? No, I will not. <laughs> say Riff Ram? What? Call the leader. Okay, I'll try. Riff Ram. Bazoo. Are you fucking with me right now? Lickety lickety? Now, now I'm interested again. Now I'm back in. I like this a lot better than when you were saying balayage. Saying lickety lickety is way stronger. Zoos, this is still going? Zoo zoo. Who? Hua. Wahoo. Give them hell. What are we doing? A poem? I take it back. Hook them horns is great. Way easier. Now, why is this thing still going? What is this? I didn't ask you to tell me the school charter. You don't mean to go, go frogs? But what was that thing you just made me do? You stand in line and you do this arm thing. Looks just like, looks like an aggressive hand job. I don't need that. It's not the way to get a hand. If a girl wants to give you a hand job, you're like, go to hand job. You're like, yes, and she comes to you. She's like, let's go. You fucking run, you run. So you're a frog from Texas Christian University and you go down horns. You're Texas, you're what university? UT, University of Texas. You go up horns, hook them. Hook them horns. And then you go... Gigamates. Gigamates? Gigamaggies. Why gig them? The fuck's gig them mean? Whoop, 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 gig them style. Oh, oh, what the fuck does that mean? Gig, and you're saying, so, what's a thumbs up? It's just a thumbs up? You can't call the thumbs up for yourself. That's the international symbol for all kinds of shit. Gig'em Aggies, whoop, whoop, thumbs up? No. That's the worst of all of them. I'm not judging the schools, I'm just judging the, the fucking things we're talking about here. Hey, Ben? Yeah, Sorry. Uh, please. Kenny Sheffield's very concerned. She wants to know, what is a horn frog? What is a horn frog? Strong question, Cammy. Cammy, Tammy. It's a what? Something you gig. Something you gig. Okay, so now we need to define more terms. Here. What does gig mean? That's what he said. Is gig. Gig means what? You put a thumb in their ass. You put a thumb in the ass of a frog. You ainly probe the frog. Oh, you smash the frog with your thumb out. Because you're classy when you're doing it. You're like real enthusiastically crushing that frog. It's like a Mentos commercial. 
Giggum, the frog maker. Smasher, the frog smasher. Okay, so you get, what are you showing me a picture here? This is a super frog. Looks like a gray dick. Why does this frog look a gray dick? Looks like a strange dick, doesn't it kinda? Thank you, you agree. I don't understand this at all. There's naked pictures on there? A lot of things to cover after the show. A lot of things to circle back on. A couple things you have to know for when the show is done. I'll be outside. And like most comedians do, I have a CD for sale. It's an album of my jokes that you did not hear here because I didn't do any of them. This has all been obviously off of you guys. So you can get that and I'll sign it. But I don't do what most comedians do. I like to mix it up. So I also will be selling random items I bought at the store. <laughs> yes, I've got greeting cards. I will sign them, you get them for $10. One of them says, if, if a birthday's coming up for you or a friend of yours, it, says, it has a fish on it. And it says, here's fishing you a happy birthday. So it's incredibly fucking dumb. But I'll write whatever you want on there, right? We also have a card that's just for a generic thing. It, it just says, congrats, you did it, you got it done. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know learning what an equal sign is or, or gigging a frog real good or using a forklift correctly for once. I don't know. I'll write whatever you want. I'm also selling Ninja Turtle disc shooters for five bucks. I'll sign all these items. That the signature is what makes the value really come true. And even let's say some of you in this crowd want to quit smoking. You know what I mean? You want to change your life around. I'll be selling a pack of Nicorette gum for $15. I will sign it. And you'll be like, that show was incredible. I laughed. And my life was saved, so you're welcome. We'll be out there afterwards. Also, please watch Idiot Test every Tuesday at 10, 9 central on GSN. Anybody watch Idiot Test in the crowd? I love that. Love that. Not enough of you, but it's cool. It's cool. And then uh, follow me on social media, at Ben I'm putting stories up every day on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. And stuff. What is that? You're not talking to me, are you? You're just talking louder than you wanted to. That's cool. It's cool. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. How about you? Your hair is great. Did she do your hair? Did she do your hair? You did that hair yourself? They're engaged. I'm not hitting on her. Relax. That's fine. You two are engaged? That's cute. And you're engaged to a hairstylist and you did your own hair? That's fucking offensive. You should leave his ass. This guy's bullshit. Why'd you do your own hair when she, she does hair? She's doing other people's hair. She's got no time for you. And your hair looks fucking great. Have you ever done a, 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 a brioche? I don't know the fucking words anymore. You just do straight man's haircuts? Like regular man's haircuts? She cuts it. I just put the gel in it. She cuts it and you put the gel in it? Oh, so she cut the hair. That's obviously what I was fucking asking. I wasn't asking, does she comb your hair? I wasn't saying, does your fiance gel your hair for you? and comb it when you go out. That was not the question. I'm glad we clarified it though, so you are in charge of your own grooming. It's exciting. What do you do for a living when you're not spending all of your time with the, with the, with the time consuming hair gelling that you do? I do hydro mulch, do you know what that is? You do hydro molding? Hydro mulch. Hydro mulch. An alternative facade. An alternative facade, you're making a mulch with water. You're wetting mulch. And you make grass grow. What kind of grass are you talking about? So I could be very interested in a minute. I want like, like, like smokable grass. You got that? Talk to you later, all right. I got a lot to cover. I got massages to attend to. I got naked photos to see. I gotta get weed from this guy. I'm gonna do a rudimentary math class with you. Basic equations. <laughs> fun, a lot of fun. All right, that's cool. You guys are a good time, so you make that mulch. And then what do you all do when you're on your off time? Come out to the show and have fun. Give people an education in hairstyles. I like that a lot. How about you? What do you do for a living? You do hair also? Well, I'm not going to go down that fucking road again. <laughs> How about you with the hat, dude, and the, and the aqua blue shirt there? Uh, what do you do? Oh, shit. <laughs> she did not do a good job. She went a little heavy on it. She went a little heavy on it. You are bald as fuck, my friend. 
He looked like a baby with a beard. He looked like a huge bearded baby. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm in the utility business. In the utility business? Doing what? Uh, you name it, we put it in the ground. I name it, you put it in the ground. <laughs> cheesecake. That's like a cheesecake in the ground. Where's it at? I mean, I didn't have to ground. buy it yet. I didn't know I was going to meet you. <laughs> I can purchase it. You put stuff in the ground. Whatever the fuck it is. That's called a utility worker. Sort of like a guy that'll do whatever. Like a utility player on a team. You need something put in the ground, we call you. You in the mafia? It's very confusing. It's very, very confusing. What do we have in the chat room? Anybody say uh, anything? Yeah, Cammy Sheffield wants to know if you could uh, give like a slogan for the election, what would it be? Is Cammy Sheffield the only person watching this fucking thing? <laughs> If I could give a slogan for the election, what would it be? Yes. It would be, 2016, we are fucked. <laughs> I think that's basically it. <laughs> but a little less fucked with Hillary, that's what I would say. Yeah. A lot less fucked, maybe, but you know, it's my, it's my opinion. We don't need to get off on politics. We're having such a fun time here, you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you do for a living, sir? You work? <laughs> I'm proud of you. Well done. What sort of work do you do? Anything and everything. Anything and everything. <laughs> You're kind of stealing from his answer a little bit. <laughs> At least you don't put that work in the ground, do you? Depends if it needs to. If it needs to get in the ground, then you do it. You really do anything and everything. Can you get shit in the air, too? You can. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck you do. I like to keep you guessing. No, I can tell that. The only thing I can think of that is the kind of versatility that you're talking about is a forklift. Do you forklift operator? Yes. Is he really? A trainer of forklift. A trainer of forklift operators. Could you give them a refresher course, please? They are not doing it right. The forklift's not intended to knock shit down, is it? I uh, know. Thank you so much. That's what I believe. Rinky dink ass demolition company using that. And then what do you do the rest of it with fucking wiffle bats? It's not coming down. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. What else we got? What else we got in the crowd? How about you, old man? We got a dude with a, with a Paul Bearer shirt on with skeletons all over it, an enormous beard and arms full of tattoos. Obviously, you're a school teacher. <laughs> what do you do for a living, sir? Bartend. You bartend. Where? In the afterlife? <laughs> Where are you bartending? Uh, a New Orleans style bar down where? Down Deep Ellum? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is that a part of town right here? That's cool. That's where all the metalheads hang out. I wouldn't have been surprised if you had said that, because you did, and I'm not surprised. <laughs> What makes you like this kind of macabre, dark style you got going on here? It's cool. I always suspected those guys had no reason behind that shit. It seemed real fucking deep. You're like, well, that guy's probably got a real dark inner world. You ask him, what is it all about? I don't know, it's cool. You smoke a lot of pot, you said? <laughs> Like that, like, like that explains it. I smoke a lot of pot. I look dressed completely fucking normal. You don't have to do what you're doing, but it's cool. You like it. You dig how long you had that style for? Four years. What were you wearing four and a half years ago? You were a paratrooper for four years. No shit. That's amazing, man. Thanks for your service. That's cool. Give this man a round of applause. That's cool. Pretty awesome. In the army? You're an army paratrooper. That's incredible. You basically were thrown out of airplanes into battlefields. I could not do that. I could not do it. You know why? I could do it because if, you, if, you, if I had to, but I would scream. I would scream like a little girl. That's probably one of the main things they tell you in training. Do not scream like a little girl. The enemy will see where you are that way. 
I'd get shot every time. I'd be like, no, please, no. Oh, I got shot again. I would get shot a lot. You ever get shot? No. You did not scream, probably, right? <laughs> How many jumps did you have to do? Oh, you did scream? Yes. When? In a pissed off way. In a pissed off way. So you would scream when jumping out of the airplane into enemy territory. I mean, that, correct me if I'm wrong, that seems like a very dumb idea. <laughs> you weren't afraid of that. Hmm. They don't, they don't train you not to do that. You don't realize that you screamed. You high right now? <laughs> How high are you right now? Oh my God, high, you said. Okay, good. Fantastic. Well, I don't want to freak you out anymore. I'm going to go somewhere else, okay? It's been great talking to you. Maybe we'll get stoned later. But maybe not, because this is being broadcast. So we were, these are jokes. Any drug use referred to in these broadcasts are obviously comedic drugs. They're fake drugs. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna eat mint. We're going to smoke mint. It's going to be a fake... Oh, fuck me. Anything else in the chat room there? Uh, yeah, Casey Lee Walker. She said, Deep Ellum was a great neighborhood. Lots of hipsters. No shit. You seen this guy? It's the most hipster looking guy I've ever seen. It's like you're going to a hipster funeral the way you're dressed. It's incredible. Oh my god. That's amazing. How about you? You got nice pearls on? That's nice of you to dress up. Are those real pearls? Yes. They're real pearls. Yes. Probably shouldn't announce that publicly. You always wear pearls? No, not always. You don't always? I don't make a lot of money, but I did one time give a girl a pearl necklace. I saved up, you guys, I saved up. I don't know what you were thinking, but that was disgusting, whatever you thought. What do you do for a living? Nurse. You're a nurse, that's cool. Do you wear the pearls while you're nursing? Sometimes. Sometimes, that's cool. Cheer them up a little bit. Show them something hanging on their neck they cannot afford, probably. Not only are you in bed sick, also, you ain't got this, motherfucker. <laughs> That's cool. How about you, sir? Are you with her? Yes. That's your wife? Yes. That's adorable. How long have you been married for? Seven years. Seven years. Do you have any kids? No. Is that by choice? Yes. <laughs> you sounded very adamant. Fuck yeah, we're not interested in that shit. Yeah, kids are annoying. Kids can be very annoying. They're always... Oh, kids are always like... Fucking... I'm... How, how much attention do kids fucking need? I'm so hungry. Help me, I'm bleeding. It's like, can I Snapchat, bro? Give me a second. I'm trying to turn my face into a fucking dog. My 30 followers, relax. Kids are so needy, man. Oh my God, that's cool. What do you guys do for fun? You have any activities you do together? Everything. Everything together. That's a little fucking much, don't you think? How about having your own lives at some point? Everything together. So you do like joint activities, like riding on a two-person bike and shit. <laughs> you don't do that? Two separate bikes? Cute. What activities do you guys do? Drinking mostly. It's a big drinking time. I'm getting the idea that it's a big drinking time. You don't do anything else. You don't do any cute couple activities. Go to museums holding hands or fucking skipping around, smashing frogs with your thumbs up or something. You do some of that? That's cool. What else we got over here? Let's check in over here. Who else we got? What, what is your name then? Claire. Claire? What do you do, Claire? I sell toilet paper. You sell toilet paper? <laughs> I'm very interested. You sell specifically toilet paper? Amongst other things. Amongst other things. That's what else? The That's the big seller. Everybody needs it. <laughs> Everybody needs some. One ply or two ply is a bigger seller. Two ply, yeah, one ply is old school. <laughs> one ply is the old school way to do it. That's cool. What brand do you sell? A lot of different brands. If it goes in the toilet, you sell it. You don't give a shit. That could be your slogan. I don't give a shit. Here in Tracy's Toilet Paper Emporium. That's fun. Cool. How about you, dude? You look like a... You look like a fucking Cuban painter, this guy right here. You look like a Che Guevara t-shirt, this guy. What do you do, man? You, yeah. Yeah. You're what? I'm a 
dealer. You're a dealer? That could be any sort of kind of... What kind of dealing do you do, sir? The kind that you like and the kind that everyone needs. You're this. If this is being broadcast, you're wearing your fucking car. You're a car dealer. Oh, that was like a fucking riddle. That was an idiot test right there. I'm a dealer of the kind everybody needs. I'm like, with my pothead brain, I'm like, obviously pot, it's pot, right? No, it's a car, you fucking asshole. <laughs> and then off camera, he just said, can I say what he just said? Off camera, he just goes, I can't do it. I can't do it. I won't do it. No, he's a car dealer. He sells only, only green leafy cars. <laughs> Exciting. Are there any questions? Anything you need to know? We're almost done with the show. What do you guys need to know? Anything else in the chat room? Please, Dave Jensen. Uh, Heath Hopkins, he wants to... I don't know why you shout every time, Dave, but I love it. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, uh, <laughs> he said, Ben, what's your favorite Bill Murray movie? I'm a huge Bill Murray fan in general. Favorite Bill Murray... Caddyshack's a good one. I love Lost in Translation the most. Yeah. Lost in Translation, and then I love Rushmore. And I love Royal Tenenbaums, and I love Caddyshack. Ghostbusters, a lot of good ones. He's one of the best American actors in the world. St. Vincent. Did not see that one. Is it good? That's a great movie chat. Uh, quick question. What the fuck do you do for real? Tell me what you do. I want to know what specifically you do. Please. No, you don't. Tell me what you do. Please. Tell me what you do. You just run shit? You're a manager of just everything. You work with her in the toilet paper business? What do you do? I'm kinda in there. You're kinda in there. You're an enigma, dude. You are an enigma. I love you. Thank you so much. I called a black person an enigma the other day and she said, you said what? It's an enigma, I wanna make that very clear. I love you too, sir. Thank you so much for your love. It's exciting. We're almost done. I just want to make sure we get to everybody that wants to be gotten to. You have a lot of very uh, salt, salt white hair back there, sir. You look like Captain Sully Sullenberger back there. <laughs> We're going to land in the Hudson. We're going down the Hudson. <laughs> what do you do, sir? Are you an airplane captain yourself? Uh, retired. retired airplane captain. <laughs> You're not? What did you do before you were retired? Multiple professions. Way to fucking brag, dude. Way to... Multiple. Tell us the, the first three that come to mind. Now you just started talking so quietly, like, like, like a soft little baby in a library. He said, I did multiple professions. What kind? Tell me the, tell me the top three. Made her bad wall ball pen, but now you're just saying sounds. Now you're just making fucking sounds that no one can understand. Made your pop pom pom while I do a little pop blaster blab. I land planes in the Hudson River. I'm gonna do some things. Whisper like a little baby. Do some of that with a little baby whispering. Professional baby whisper. I do toilet paper sales. Do teaching the youth of the world the projects how to read the equal sign. I've been doing a lot of that. I've been doing Aggie bumps and frog crushes. I've been doing all kinds of frog crushing, Aggie bumpy, bumpy, crumpy, crumpy, dumpy, sully, sullenberger moves. I've been taking shit down the Hudson, up in the Hudson. I've been fucking doing dirty massages, happy ending massages, all kinds of massages. I've been massaging you. I'm massaging everybody else in the whole fucking crowd later. My God. That was an amazing answer. That was an amazing answer. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I really appreciate it. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keep Thank it going you. for Ben, everyone. What's up, everybody? Thank you, guys. You were a great crowd. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had a good time. Be sure and see me live in your city. I'm coming soon to Seattle, Washington at Laughs Comedy Club, to Laughs Boston. Hello. I'm coming to the, the masseuses. Is the masseuses. Oh, hells yeah. Don't go nowhere. I'm coming to Laughs Boston. I'm coming to Sunnyvale, California. I'm playing the Kennedy Center in D.C. this Tuesday night, 6 p.m. free show. Show up at 530 at the Hall of States and you get two free tickets per person. I'm playing the Hell Yes Fest in New Orleans on October 11th, headlining with Joy Theater. All the dates, all the tickets available at bengleave.com. Watch Idiot Test on GSN every Tuesday, 10, 9 central. Check out my special Neurotic Gangster. Thank you all for watching. I'll be in the comments later tonight. I'll, I'll read all the comments. I'll comment back. 
God bless y'all. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon. Here are the random items. I was not lying about that. Random items available for sale at the show. Toothbrush, new. Totally new toothbrush. So enjoy that idea. I should buy Q-tips. Q-tips, yeah. Q-tips. Sure. Great idea. Thank you guys for watching. Good night and good luck. I don't know why I ended up saying that. It's pretty strange.